what importance do you think religion plays? Me? In, what importance do you think religion plays in all of this? Well. In terms of where we are heading as a country. Because I saw a study recently. Well, it was a show done, I think it was by uh, TV6 or CNC. Yeah. A program called Exodus where they were following the decline in Christianity. And they say, um, I think these last 10 years have been some of the worst in terms of the decline in religiousness among the Christian faith. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see any numbers for the Hindu faith or the Islamic faith to know if there's a general increase or decline or shift. <coughs> but I, I'm wondering, what does that mean for our future as a country? Do we Remember need... Remember the spread of Christianity, both Catholicism and Anglicanism. They were spread with the colonial conquest of various territories across the world. It wasn't a spontaneous movement to these religions. This was a, a virtually a force upon them because the soldiers went in first. I think one African leader wrote a book, you know, which I read a long time ago. It was, I think it was from the, one of the African countries in which he talked about first the soldiers will come. First the the, the priest will come mm. and ask you to kneel down, close your eyes and pray. And behind him will come the soldier with the bayonet. Mm. So if you do, do it willingly, you'll do so it anyway. They can't live down that, that these religions were spread. Through conquest. The right, yeah, by through conquest. Now the reality is stepping in. When they went into India to spread Christianity, Remember they spread, they spent 200 years in India spreading Christianity. Today Christianity is almost obliterated. 200 years ago you didn't have a Hindu outside of India. Today in the United States you have about 4 or 5 million. Mm. In the United Kingdom you didn't have Muslims. The Muslims are also spreading out. So that it is not that people are moving away from religion. They are choosing what religion they wish to go to. We don't I, I have not experienced a fall in Hinduism in Trinidad. Mm. As a matter of fact, I experience a coming back. Because now that Hinduism is available on television, on radio, on an English language, in the English language, rather than strictly in Hindi and Sanskrit, you find people beginning to understand it now. I know something similar was done with the church because I'm not sure how long ago it was, but remember the Mass used to be said in Latin. So a lot of the congregation felt like they weren't included and didn't understand anything that was going on. Yeah, yeah. So they started doing it in English so the people could actually understand. That's right, the, the, the language of the state. Here, when I was growing up, from the pulpit, the Catholic pulpit was only Latin. But then, wisely, they um, gave instructions from the Vatican the language of the state. Use the language of the state. The same thing is happening to us. When our ancestors came here, the only language they knew was Hindi and Sanskrit, or maybe the, the local dialects. And the books were written in Hindi. Now it's in English all over. Look, all, all these books are written in English. Or they have the verses in, in Sanskrit and the a translation in English. Or tra and transliteration, English transliteration. So a lot of people understanding it. The Hare Krishna movement in America, you have millions of whites who are Hare Krishnas. Hmm. Because they have the books, both in Sanskrit and in English. Hmm. So that if the traditional, what I call colonial churches, are experiencing a fallout, it is because people are choosing. So it's more like a shift back to a natural balance. Whereas yeah. before they were forcing this um they were forcing this balance on everybody else before, forcing people to be of this faith. And now you're having a natural shift to where people people want they're free, to form. They're, this freedom of ideas, freedom of thought. You have it you have it on the internet. You could go under Hinduism and find out anything. Any part of the world. In, in, in any language you are.